Hey y'all, so gifting rewards came in yesterday. I actually had to wait on one of the pieces of it until fairly late, which is why I didn't end up getting this out yesterday. But here you have it. Uh, my alliance made 1-5%. to I think we actually landed 79th in the number rankings, which is, I think, about what most of us expected. We do have some spenders. We don't really have any massive spenders, and we had plenty of people do the bare minimum, which almost includes me. Um, I ended up with 60,000 total. I think I've told people I came into this with like 1,600 units, which allowed me to send, I believe, like seven or eight early on because of the units that were in the milestones. Then I gradually, you know, just grinded out some other units over the course of the event. And then I did end up spending $100 on Christmas Day itself for those deals. Uh, I just bought a couple of the Black Panthers because I got some extra money that I wasn't expecting and decided to put it into this. So that's where I came out. Obviously, that's another feature opening for my main account. And then the catalysts and stuff. I basically think of that as like half of another rank three or maybe just another rank two and change, however you want to think about it. I believe I ended up picking Science for the T5CC selectors because that's the only class where I didn't have a full catalyst, and now I do if I need to take somebody up. For my alt account, this is the funny one, <laughs> I, again, still haven't spent a dime on that account, and I don't think any of the other alts in this account and spent a dime, but I got carried hard here by my friend Metaphors. He had grinded out legitimately, like just over the year, um, had been playing a bunch of EQ and that kind of thing, just auto fighting it with like, I don't even know how many alts he has, let's say 10, <laughs> and gifted them to his main, and so that's why we're this high in our mini alliance. That's obviously massive for a level 42 account. I actually cannot claim all of those catalysts, so I need to level up to be able to use them, probably to take Strife to rank 2. And because of the T5CC involved, because here's where the 42k that I got from my alt from having 3,000 units and then getting back the ones in the milestones, this is where I landed without spending anything on my alt. So I pulled in 12,500 six-star shards, so another six-star, and then all of these catalysts that I literally cannot use until I level up enough to claim more of them to use them all at once. So I will be doing some Act 4 auto-fighting in the future. <laughs> but leaving that aside, here we go. Here's the actual opening. I decided to go ahead and do this rather than wait until I had one of each, but as you can see, I'm quite close to another 5-star and another 6-star. So this has just been an incredible month for my alt. Professor X would have been better, but Stealth Spidey fits the goal of this account. He is a solid character with some utility for developing accounts. Um, I already have a Spider-Gwen, so I wasn't desperate for a slow champion. But now I have a slow champion who also bypasses miss, so I don't know. We'll see if I end up feeling like I need him. Um, I could also end up doing like a Spider-Verse team between him and some of the others I have. I do have a six-star Mysterio, so we'll see what happens there. That's, that's a good pull. And then we go for this six-star. Um, I think I've said before my top ask for this uh, account for a six star would be Shang-Chi because I don't have him on my main and he's just freaking amazing. He would get me through so many things and I want to learn how to play him. But Ronan is an amazing pull for this account as well. He's a really solid character with a bunch of like customizable utility if you learn his rotations properly. MP Blaze recently put out a video on him that I will go ahead and link in the description. And that's basically why I'm happy with this, where it's like, okay, that showed me that although I would probably never invest in him in my main account, or I actually have a duped six star, I don't know about never, but I'm not currently planning on investing in him in my main account. For my alt account, 
where he is already relevant without me putting any ISO into him, let alone catalysts, that's an awesome pull because now I can take his ability accuracy reduction, his bleeds, his ability to parry projectiles, his um, debuff purification. I can take all of that into content immediately and be super happy about it. So gifting went great for me. Um, you know, got new toys on the alt account. I didn't open anything on the main account because I'm waiting for the six star feature to roll over, but I got another poll for that, another 15,000 shards. Really looking forward to that, hoping above all else for Kitty, like most other people, and for Cersei, which I know is kind of a weird one, but I just, I like her unique utility. I would love to invest in her and figure out where I can use her. And then failing those two, they're the other features are pretty much all interesting. Icarus excites me the least, but I would be willing to play around with him. Nimrod is amazing. And then hopefully there are some good sub-features, so looking forward to that reveal. Anyway, I hope all of y'all got what you were hoping for out of gifting. I hope that everybody got good pulls. I hope that everybody is able to rank up that champion that they'd been hoping to for a while. I know this is a contentious and controversial event, I'm not going to speak to that anymore. I will link my original thoughts on the gifting event video in the description if you want to hear me talk about it more at length. But to focus on the positives, hope everyone had a great holiday season, hope everyone has a happy new year, and hopefully you got some decent champion pools to start you off. Until next time, thanks for watching, and take care.